And as folks come down, I will also underline, we heard fantastic things about this play yesterday. So it's three o'clock here for another Antigone off in the social hall. Really wonderful. Tell your friends, come back well fed and ready to receive some fantastic entertainment. So once upon a time, there was a strong man. And when I say strong man, I mean not just strong like a lot of strong men, like a lot of carnival strong men. I mean stronger than that. I mean, superhumanly strong, fantastically strong. At the very end of his show in the circus, he would lift up the entire section of seats, thousands upon thousands of pounds, impossible weight. He would lift it high up over his head. And he loved, with every ounce of his being, a passionate, wonderful love. He loved the pretzel lady. And by pretzel lady, I don't just mean a flexible person. I mean, this pretzel lady was so past any kind of yoga flexibleness that you could get to. She could wrap her legs around her body multiple times so that she could take her big toe three times up around and go. <laughs> it was flexible, she was, and they loved each other with deep, passionate, fantastic love. And they realized that they wanted to be married and married and they wanted to have children and they had a beautiful, wonderful baby. Initially, kind of icky because that's the way the babies come, but then, you know, still really beautiful, especially after it was cleaned off a little bit. And this was a lot of hair on this baby, a lot of hair on the baby. And some babies have a lot of hair, but this baby had an extra lot of hair and pretty soon had an extra lot of hair everywhere. And luckily enough, they lived in the circus and they moved around with a carnival and so showman as he was, he grew up being a wonderful little wolf boy. Wonderful little wolf boy who had a great little show, and they all were very, very happy together for a very long time. But slowly, as they were preparing for the wolf boy to go off to college, it was a difficult time for everybody. They experimented with doing full body waxes and leaving just the normal hair that normal people had, and to no avail, still super hairy everywhere. So they decided to apply to small liberal arts colleges where they could probably accept a wolf boy and work around it and channel it into his ac academic career. But he started to get a little bit sick. First they could tell because his coat lost its luster and sheen. And then slowly he got more sick and more sick. And the pretzel lady could kind of roll with it. She was good at kind of taking life as it was. The flexibility went into every part of her being, but the strong man had a hard time with it. Hard for anybody to watch your baby be sick, but especially hard for him. And it made him angry. It made him angry and he wanted to stop it and he wanted to fix it all by himself. And it got worse the sicker that the teen wolf got. And it was to the point that the strong man was desperate, desperate for something to do. And the pretzel lady said, just stay with us. Stay with us and stay with your boy. He needs you right now. And he said, no. He had heard of this one place off in Egypt, this one particular corner of this one particular pyramid, that he could go and he could push on it in just the right way and he could stop the earth from spinning so that his boy wouldn't get sicker, so that he would have the rest of his life with him. And so sure enough, he left, much as the pretzel lady and the teen wolf protested. He left and he went far, far away. And he found that pyramid and he found the place in the pyramid and he pushed with all of his strength, pushed so hard that the pyramid started to crumble and he looked around waiting for the earth to stop spinning, for time to freeze, and nothing happened. And he was crushed, crushed that he couldn't do anything and more crushed that he had wasted that precious time knowing that there was nothing that he could do and so sad that he had lost those days with his son, he flew back as fast as he could and he came to his bedside where there was carnival folks all around holding him, supporting him and the pretzel lady and they came to his bedside and he said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, son, I couldn't, I couldn't do it and he was so mad, so frustrated and the teen wolf died Sometimes people don't get better, and he didn't get better, and he died, and the strong men went into such a rage. He went tearing through the countryside, breaking through forests and breaking anything in his path, and he came back, and he was so crushed by grief, so entirely crushed, he said, this cannot be. I can change this. And the pretzel lady so loved him so loved him that she held him even as he raged, even as his rage grew, and she said, this we cannot change. But we can reach out. You are held, she said, as he trembled with rage. You are held by this community. And sure enough, slowly the carnival folks gathered round and the 
Siamese twins with two voices said, yes, yes, you are held, you are held. And they reached out a hand and it took all of the strength that he had. But he turned around and he saw all of these people reaching out to him and he reached out his own hands and he took theirs. And it didn't get better right away. Still he grieved and still he raged, but he was held. And he knew that he was loved by this circle of folks, colorful and strange as they were, he was held. And so are we. Amen.